Hi, hello. It's me. And me again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is um, my second video, my second video, my last video um, in this series, and this is a story, a very again another very recent story, but this is to do with weight loss and weight actually. So um, yeah, let me just go through this, and you'll understand why I'm, I'm keeping, why I'm telling you this story. Should I give you some space? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> But basically, what <laughs> happened to me really recently was, um, for those of you that know me, you know that I've been a Weight Watcher leader for, or I was a Weight Watcher leader, sorry, for many, many years, um, and lost four stone, got to go 16 years ago, all of that. Um, it was about 18 years ago now, actually, but all of that. So you all know, most of you that know me will know that, and you also know, therefore, that the way I ate my plan was the Weight Watcher plan. Um, well... A few months ago, about six to eight months ago now, I changed that um, for my own well-being. I'm not saying the Weight Watchers isn't for well-being, but for me, for my own well-being, I had to shift the way that was. Um, so I took on a different way of eating. Now, because of this particular way of eating, I lost a, a lot more weight very quickly, which wasn't the reason I did it. It was a byproduct of it, but it wasn't the reason I did it. Um, but what happens when you lose a lot of weight very quickly is it's not sustainable. Um, as I say, it wasn't deliberate for me, but nevertheless, it wasn't sustainable. And I put that weight on, back, I put that weight back on quite quickly. But what had happened was it was really strange. Old stories had started to appear for me. Um, because I had lost a lot of weight on this particular way of eating, I actually started to eat more, eat more than I would normally, um, which would have been how I would have eaten many, many years ago that I hadn't done for such a long time. And it was a real shock to me because I started to put weight on, which hadn't happened for many, many years. My jeans got tight, all of that kind of thing, things that I absolutely can't bear. And it just really made me remember my old story of when I didn't feel good at all. I mean, I just really didn't. It wasn't a huge amount. It was maybe seven pounds. I don't know. I didn't weigh, which might not seem a lot for some, but it was a lot for me. And I didn't feel good at all. I really, really didn't. I felt heavy. My, As I say, my jeans felt tight. I knew it wasn't good for me. It didn't feel great for my well-being or anything like that. And I thought, my God, I'm going down the same story. This, this... I've got to change this, I've got to get this back. So with all the tools and techniques that I've developed and that Pam and I have developed together and everything, I actually use those techniques to get myself back on track, telling a different story. I was actually telling a story of my jeans are too tight, I'm getting big, all, all of this old stuff that wasn't helping me at all. Whereas I changed the story I changed the story into feeling good. What would help me feel good? Um, what, how, how would that happen? And just by using the tools and techniques we have, I actually started doing that. And, and the weight came off again very quickly because obviously I went back to eating as I normally would, but with the new plan that I had actually taken on. But it was very interesting to me how those old stories came back so quickly the minute that you gave them air. So it's actually about having the tools and techniques to get the new story into being and being able once again to release the old stories because that's all important because it's your stories that count. So now I feel great, everything's good, I feel well, I love the plan I'm doing, I absolutely love it um, and I feel very blessed that I had those tools and techniques to help me back on track. And again, it's those tools and techniques, isn't it Pam, yeah. that we're going to be using in the <laughs> in the um, training day. Yes. So yeah. if you feel that that was useful for you and you feel that it would help you, then it would be really great to have you along on the day to help you change that story. Even if it's an old one, mm. let's change it. You know, these stories can come back. So it's about mm. how do we how do we have the tools to get us back on track from those old stories and start telling the new ones, but the new ones that actually serve us. Mm. So that's it from me today. Great. Lovely. Um, Thank you for that, Sandra. And um, see you on the next story. Yep. See you soon. Pam's story. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.